Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I actually have my dad doing my makeup voiceover. So um, yeah, this should be interesting. I will count this lipstick, yellow inch one, and the next one is NYX, you see. Trying to polish a eyes with oil to make it better and shine. Kika needs to put so much, um, I don't know what it's called, but at least it's making so that the other makeup can stay and have proper color on it. She's now putting an highlighter on the face. I think that looks like grayish white color. <laughs> Boy, I don't know what she's doing now, but at least she's using a brush to make sure that those white liner stay according to what she wants. And probably I believe she's going to put another color on top of that. You see now, those are the palettes. It's choosing a pink color to put on top so it becomes a layer with that one. So we will see how the color blends together very soon. Another color palette is coming up. She's not sure which one she's going to use, but those two colors I believe will blend together and will look very nice. You can see the eyes is now popping out. And that is a brown. She's not sure which color she wants to use. But she, you, what I realized she's doing now is she's blending it on top of each other. Those colors will change and we will come out with another color entirely that you people will like. Well, wow. I believe you guys look listening to me. You will say, Who's this man talking about? At least I'm giving you my own commentary. Whether I, I'm not a professional, but just take it as it is going. And the palette is taking much of the time for these colors to for the eyeshadow that she's doing probably I can you can see if she must have blend three or four colors so far and we still on this eyeshadow I can see it takes time another she's brought in something for the eye um, I lead or I lead, I don't know what you call it, but at least you can see precisely. This is called Pro Active HD Pro. That's one, she's using it to match the eyes all around so that all the powder she's using so that it has to sit on the face properly. And not only that, it's instead of using the brush, it's using the, it makes it to be more even across she's still using a spongy a brush on her face i can't read this properly but you guys you know what is going to be i'll be able to describe this is to create a contour on the, on the on the cheek is it's like a definition to give it to define the makeup properly and another product is up all this makeup i don't know how I, you people put all this together but I, by the time we finish you will see the end product is they are doing different things they are they are they are there to make the work look perfect yeah. so it's now using a brush to brush it down to blend it with what just already done so that we can see that the color of the our skin color is not coming out because of that last product she used um, 
you can see this chime coming up as well. I believe it's to do with the first um, foundation that she used. So you can see the beauty of the black coming out. The eyes is really, really, you can see the white of the eyes. There's definition as well. Those brushes, you see, this is a bigger brush, and those bigger brushes to, just to blend it to circuit around so that every other things they all sit all together. Well, probably yes. this is for the eyebrow section. I don't know whether that's what you call it, but the, under the hard freckles makeup is going to make his nose to come pointed with those. Um, contour with the brush so by the time she finished brushing those makeup on it we will see the end product of that and see what is coming up you might think oh this color are not coming up as the previous one I don't know what she's going to do but I believe there must be a brush that she's going to use to blend it and she's lining it on, on top of her forehead as well so you can cover up and she's drawing a line on the other side of the cheek so she's using another type of brush that we create like a definition of line it seems it looks like two colors now but wow oh, <laughs> The, this the sponge brush has come back again. I think this is this works a lot in this makeup. Uh, really, I can see that it's smoothing everything with this spongy brush. Uh, it's like leaving some stone on touch. Wow. Just stay doing the same thing. I, I hope you guys, as you are looking at it, you can get some tips of what she's using. She's drawing another line on those cheeks, but with a different color and using brush to brush it up and down, so they blend together. In photography, I call these layers of colors together, but wow, let's see. It looks very nice. Color is coming up. This another white powder putting on the below the eyes with another color again, blending it together. Well, I'm not sure how many colors we're gonna to put together here tonight, but very soon I will be relieved of this job that I'm doing. Very nice. Wow, you can see those cream colors on top of the nose it's giving that nose to me the way I'm looking at it is like three dimension now uh, I think she's working really much on the both cheeks to create a line because I'm, this is another product coming up and that's the product that she's now applying now we can see it's like a blush or whatever you call it is you can see on the cheek that color is like pronounced a little bit then coming down okay it's rubbing those brushes oh it's not drawing line on under the eyes i'm not sure what color is that but oh it's oh it's like whitish mm. our favorite palette has come back as it's using it to draw a line under the eyes another product links is making those eyes uh, freckles to come out I think the same uh, looking at it from the angle you can see. very nice you can see this it's like a tint color she's working on the nose now defining the nose with different colors and drawing line under the eyebrow the 
done we are now moving to the leaves drawing those lines to define the leaves and wow i think that color looks very bright it's coming out very nicely now let's just change the color make it a little bit darker we see where she goes from here basically what i can say is that it well, that looks like gloss to me it's all makeup film so now we are getting closer to the end of this makeup can you see how nice bright the eyes pop up very nicely and the lips is glowing very nice the high brows defined wow this is good job so i hope you guys really enjoyed this video give my dad a thumbs up for the wicked effort that he had in doing this voiceover if you want to see more videos like this please make sure you subscribe to my channel don't forget to like the video and more than anything make sure you comment below as well so i hope you guys are having a good christmas and i'll see you next week